All right, good morning. It is Wednesday, November 2nd, and I'm gonna be doing a drive to my office with FSD Beta 10.69.3. I just got back from some, doing some initial testing of an unprotected left turn. That's been a problem for FSD Beta around my, uh, around my neighborhood here. Uh, unfortunately, the results were not great. I'm gonna go back and redo that test later this afternoon. Um, but for now, I just wanna do a quick drive here to my office. Time is of the essence since I have to be there by 10 a.m. So um, I'm gonna just kind of narrate as we go and see how it goes. So again, the speed limit in my neighborhood's wrong. I'm gonna let it try to see if it can get out of my driveway here. It still wants to go to the left even though it's supposed to go to the right. Yeah, I just hit the brake there. I'm not gonna let it mess around too much there. Still seems to have some confusion coming out of the driveway. That was one thing that definitely worked better in like 10.10 .10 and before, but uh, unfortunately it's been definitely a regression. So I would say it's worked just a few times with the 69 build so far. A Little bit of hesitation here. We are clear on our left and right there, so I'm not sure. Sorry about that, my GoPro cut out there. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, I was not quite sure what the car thought it saw there. It was definitely um, clear on both sides. So, um, a little bit too cautious it's been that way out throughout you know all the builds so i guess no real regression there but um still more cautious than i'd like to see it so here's our first unprotected left turn on this route um usually honestly the 69 build's been really really good with this intersection here this is turning left on the 37th avenue northeast got a car on our right here clear on our left and we're going so no excessive hesitation there you know, as good as it's always been. I mean, it's been really, really good so far on the 69 builds. So again, no issues. Um, that one is one that, you know, definitely before like 10.9 and before FSD really struggled there. It put us into some, you know, really tough situations, cutting in front of cars, things like that was not great. Um, it's come a long way there. Uh, and it is kind of tricky because we do not have great visibility on our left and right until we kind of peek out because of some trees and, and fencing and whatnot. So. And just like with the previous builds, um, FSD Beta 69.3 um, does not uh, go in the wrong lane anymore at the intersection there as we cross Central Avenue. Um, it stays in the left lane as it should. So did hesitate a little bit on the brake uh, with some brake input there, but uh, it quickly recovered and continued on. I did not have to press the throttle, so. All right, now I'll be taking a left turn on a 5th Street Northeast here, off of 37th, and let's see how it does. It has struggled in the past here with this intersection, so. All right, so you can see here, it still wants to creep, even though we're clear on the left and right, so I'm gonna give it some throttle input here. Um, because of the post, I'm not sure what it sees. I'm gonna continue to report that one. Um, that intersection has just been problematic for pretty much all the builds so far. Um, it's been intermittent in some. Sometimes it nails it, especially like at night. Like last night, I did the intersection coming from the other way. It worked just fine, no excessive hesitation or anything. But for whatever reason, from that same direction that we just went, it was still you know, overly hesitant for whatever reason. So it definitely sees something. I'll have to go back and watch the video, but um, still too much hesitation. The visibility is good. It should be able to see through the occlusion on our right, that pulse there, so. Um, but it must see something else, perhaps, so. And just a comment here, you know, we're doing a great job of staying, I think, you know, towards the right. Like right here though, as the road kind of narrows, we should be more curb aligned in my opinion. Um, I know I'm nitpicking because the road's clear, but if there were cars coming, which there are now, you know, it's figuring it out. I would like to see the car a little bit more over to the right. Um, if it was me driving, that's where I'd be. Because right now we're a little too far towards the center. And the car figures it out, but again, it would give other drivers some more confidence that they don't see a car driving on like the middle of the road <laughs> at them, so. Very smooth stop there. And very confident with the right turn there. So no hesitation, we've seen that in, in the past. We'll be doing this section, that intersection there a few more times um, with this build. Um, but so far, so good there. And again, we're trying to signal over to the left. Let's see what the car does here. I'm not gonna touch it. 
Yeah, and eventually it turns the turn signal off, but that is still one of those weird issues that I've seen. And it looks like we have some road construction here. This throws a curveball at us here. So we're gonna have to kind of do a little loop here and go around this. There's not much exciting going on up here anyways. It's just, it's just a straight section of road that we've not really struggled with in previous builds. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna fast forward through this detour here and we're gonna get back to that same spot that we normally go. So I'll see you back here in a second. All right, we are back on the route here that we've normally done uh, to my office. Had to bypass some construction there, so apologies for that. Um, and we'll just kind of see again how 69.3 handles uh, the stretch of road here. This stretch here between, uh, I think it's 42nd up here that we have to turn left on, has been tricky. Some of these curves and whatnot have been hard, along with some of the, for whatever reason, this bike path on our left sometimes gets visualized as road space. So seen some issues there. So far, so good. We're hanging out exactly where in the road where we need to be. It's been good around the curve so far. Let's see what it does here. Sometimes it likes to stray after this turn towards the center. Looks like we're straying a little bit towards the center here. And it's signaled for whatever reason, so that's something I'll definitely report. Really weird. I think it's visualizing that bike path still as a, as a lane of traffic, but it does override itself once it, for whatever reason, gets confused. So, But doing a good job here of staying to the right. Um, better than I've seen it in previous builds. Still a little bit too far towards the center here. Um, let's see how we handle this left turn. So, you know, another comment here before we make this unprotected left turn here onto 42nd. Um, we, I really wish we would align ourselves more to the curbing on the left. Um, I'm sorry, the line on the left in the center lane there. But uh, yeah, so that turn there, we were clear on both sides, yet the car still took too long. So I'll be reporting that. Um, and then we also made a, the, the wrong lane selection after we made the turn. We should have been turning into the left lane, not the right lane. So, you know, a couple things wrong there. I would say that's a regression from what I saw in 69.2. Um, and I tested 2.1 and 2.2 at the intersection there. So um, maybe a possible regression. So I'll have to keep an eye on that one. We got a flashing yellow here, so I'm going to give it a little throttle because the light's going to turn here. Let's see what we do here. We're on the wrong side of the yellow. There was no car there, so it wasn't really a problem. But I would have preferred to see the car stay more to the right uh, as we made that turn. So maybe make the turn, the line selection, anyways, a little bit deeper. Good job going around that uh, bollard in the center of the road there. That was a problem for us in 69.2. So we'll be doing this a few more times to confirm whether that's gone or not. But also good job staying to the right here. Very confident with the lines here. The lines are not very, you know, easy to read here. There's a bike lane in the middle of the road here and it's just kind of a challenge, especially in this situation with the lighting. So let's see here. We're yielding for turning cars, so I wish we could really see turn signals like humans could. We'd be more confident to go there, but otherwise, good job there. We're going to get on the freeway here. Um, so I will fast forward to when we are almost by the office, and I'll see you in a bit. And we're back. So after some freeway driving here, we are exiting Highway 100 South onto Edina Industrial Boulevard. Um, we're almost to my office. Um, just got a few turns here to do first, so um, let's see how it does. So basically there's a right turn and then eventually a left turn up ahead and then we're kind of there. So good job slowing down. As I say that, it tried to jam on the brakes pretty aggressively there. There is a car behind us, so I did give it a little bit of throttle input. Um, I would say we're going a little too slow here as we approach this intersection. Humans are kind of shave more speed off towards the end. So I gave it a little throttle input here. We do have somebody behind us, so I'm going to give it a short leash here. We do have some traffic to our left. Let's see if we go when it's clear to do so. Pretty good. Let's see here. If it goes, there it goes. Awesome. So I wouldn't have hesitated as much at the end there if I was driving, but pretty darn close. Um, the creep behavior definitely is seems to be smoother so far. The car does seem a bit more confident when it's creeping now. 
um, verse before where it would be like, stop, go, stop, go, and it'd be very jerky, so. All right, and this is our last turn here before we are to my company's office here, so we are clear ahead. Let's see what we do here, if we're gonna make this turn or not. Wow, very, very smooth as we come into the uh, parking lot here, so. That kind of concludes our drive here. So for the city street portions where I had FSD beta engaged, um, there were no disengagements. We had a few throttle interventions, um, but no disengagements, which is a big deal um, for this drive. So, you know, overall, I think there's been some noticeable improvements here. Um, it's not perfect, obviously. There is some areas where we could definitely see some further improvements, but from what I've seen so far with FSD Bay 10.69.3, uh, it's really promising. So looking forward to doing some more drives today. So I will have some more videos posted as we go here this week. So thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.